What we have here is a 24 foot Intec that has really been aimed at a track day guy. A guy that's going to the track all by himself, without a crew, maybe without a crew, maybe just with one helper. What we have here is we have a cabinet that depending on his car tire size, he can carry between four and six spare race tires in this cabinet. This entire cabinet is, is carpet lined, so the tires aren't going to mark up the walls. We have three strips of airliner track in there so that the tires can be secured with ratchet straps and held against the carpeting so they're not bouncing around down the road, you know, maybe forcing the doors open. Uh, the doors are built without a threshold. We have upper and lower cabinets. We have an upper cabinet here that's been added to match the L of the lower cabinet. We have a full height dresser cabinet here with space for your helmet, shoes, Hans device, place to hang your driving suit. We have a master kill switch down here in the bottom that kills all the elect all everything 12 volt in the trailer. Uh, the black box is a uh, 60 amp converter that when your generator is running or you're plugged into shore power, that converter is maintaining the 12 volt battery in the trailer. This trailer has all 12 volt LED lights in it, so they're all running from that from that 12 volt deep cycle battery that you need to maintain according to how much you turn your, have your lights on per event. If you run these lights for six, seven hours, uh, you do need to maintain the battery by some method. We have upper cabinets here. The receiver for our wireless winch is right there in that cabinet. We, there's a one by three tube in the front wall that we run our wiring through to hardwire into the winch, the little black piece that you see here on the under the cabinet this is the antenna for the wireless controller for the winch all the cabinets are top hinged so they go up out of your way so you're not going to whack your head on them we have um, several 110 outlets here that are active anytime you're plugged into shore power or your generator is running uh, like I said we're going to walk around the front look at the generator cabinet uh, this trailer is set up for a small Honda portable. We do have a two port USB port here. You can plug your phone in, your laptop. You know, if you bring your laptop in here, it'll actually recharge from the deep cycle battery that's in here by plugging into that USB. Uh, this particular trailer has got a small fire extinguisher here. Our winch is mounted down here in the lower cabinet. Over to the left, you can see there's a shore cord there that you would plug in when you're anywhere you have shore power. These are wireless controllers for the two roof vents that we have in here. These are an upgraded roof vent that's very nice. They can be left open during travel. They have very quiet 10-inch fans in them. You can run one as an intake, one as an exhaust. Uh, they can be left open in the pouring rain uh, because of their design. The water will never get in the trailer. Now, as I said earlier, this trailer has been laid out for a track day guy that may go to the track by himself. Small crew, no crew. So we've got an air compressor here. The trailer is hard plumbed with four different air outlets, two inside, two outside. Plug your hose in, do your air tires, your, inflate your tires. And we have a cabinet here. These doors open beyond 90 degrees. This drawer unit is designed, this will have a 3000 watt Honda portable generator on it eventually. With a portable, you want your generator out in the airstream when it's running, so that's the reason for the drawer unit. That latches there, will sit there while it runs, and then retracts. We got a power jack here. This particular trailer has a Ford backup camera on it and a Ford TPS system. That's what this extra plug is here. This is the uh, cord to the to the Ford truck for all the the camera and the uh, TPS monitoring system. This, this plug here. This trailer also has two in-floor storage compartments for your spare tire. 
and this is far enough forward that this is accessible when the car is in. And then we have a large in-floor compartment for things that aren't important if they're under the car.